What is life coaching? Do I need a coach? How do I know if I need a coach? This is gonna be the first in a series of videos that addresses what coaching is all about. We're gonna talk about different aspects of things like coaching versus mentoring, coaching versus consulting, coaching versus therapy, and all of that that is gonna come. And today's video is focused strictly on what exactly is coaching? What is life coaching? And how do I know if I might need it? I'm Kim Marie. If you're new here to the channel, this channel is all about supporting women to realize their greatest potential, to step into and find the empowered woman within her. So it's great that we're gonna be talking about coaching today because coaching is a powerful tool. Life coaching is such a powerful tool for helping us to realize our full potential. That is ultimately at the heart of coaching. Now, coaching fundamentally realizes that you are whole, you are perfect, you don't need fixing, you have answers within you. So you might say, well, why do I need a coach then if everything is within me, right? A coach is someone who can basically kind of walk the path with you, sit beside you, create a space for you to dive deeper into that inner knowing, that inner wisdom that you have access to, but maybe haven't been able to fully realize. Coaching is also very much about helping you get from here, where you are, to there, where you want to go, okay? Now, coaching was originally kind of this idea of, uh, a lot of people think of coaching in association with athletics, right? And and an athletic coach is ultimately coaching the team or a player or a performer to get from where they wanna to be to maybe being a national or world champion, right? As an example. Coaching when it comes to life coaching or personal coaching is a little bit different in the sense that we're not talking necessarily about a rigid training process with specific details. A lot of it is really centered around this idea of finding your inner potential. So ideally, coaching is a process that you would undergo with someone who is trained. They are trained in coaching. Now, coaching in itself is not as regulated as say therapy or um, like psychotherapy which is a licensed profession. And we'll do a future video about coaching versus therapy. But what I want you to understand about what is life coaching, it really is looking at a trained coach who is really aware of and understands how to ask really powerful questions that help you to step into the deepest truth of who you are that help you to realize your greatest potential, to find the answers for yourself. It's not necessarily this place of offering guidance or advice, in fact, coaching, that's not what it is. However, many coaches are also mentors on some level. And again, we'll do a future video on coaching versus mentoring. But in terms of what is life coaching, this is really about a process to get you from where you are to where you want to be by realizing the full potential that is you. And that often comes with uncovering things that are, you know, not you, that are blocking you, that are getting in your way. It's helping you to find that greater space within yourself to express who you are. And so having a coach that has been there has some experience, is able to coach you from that experience, from that understanding, from that place of, of um, knowing is very helpful because they're gonna know the questions to ask you to get there. Now, coaching is very much about increasing your awareness. It's kind of like stepping back and taking a bird's eye view in order to be able to see the terrain that you're on. So maybe there's an aspect of recognizing a map. You know, many times we feel like we're lost and we aren't sure what to do next. And a coach can help you step back and get perspective. There are three Ps that I like to think about when it comes to coaching, performance, potential, and perspective, okay? So performance we often think of as the athlete, but it could be performance in our jobs, in our managerial role, in our role as a business owner, in our role as a parent, in our role as a, a partner in a relationship, right? So there's an aspect of performance, there's the aspect of potential, which we've talked about a little bit here, realizing your potential, expressing your potential, creating from your potential and creating the potential 
that you are here to express, right? And then there's this perspective, this idea of the bird's eye view offering a different perspective. I often talk in my work about this idea that if we're standing in the center of a circle, um, then we're not gonna be able to see what's behind us, right? Or if we're standing on any point in the circle, we can only see so much. We're probably gonna see much more clearly across the circle from us than we are going to see what's right next to us in that circle. So perspective is about helping you to maybe move around that circle, maybe take a step into and out of the center, maybe step from the center looking around at the circle and step from the circle looking toward the center, seeing what you can see. Because the reality is, we can't see what we can't see. That doesn't mean you're broken. That doesn't mean you need fixing. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. Coaching is not about that. Coaching is very much about the idea that you're whole, you have it within you, and you might need some added perspective, some added um, questions to be asked to help you to see things in a new way. It's very much from stepping back into this place that I call the observer, right? This, this aspect of ourselves that's able to step out of a situation, uh, look in from an objective point of view, which is harder to do than we might think when we're in the weeds we struggle, which is why often coaches need coaches. I have coaches. I have coaches that help me with my business, with personal relations, with my health and wellness. There's all different kinds, and we'll do another video on types of coaching and, and different areas of coaching, okay? But the idea is that coaching is there to help us with our performance, our potential, and bringing forth perspective. Coaching is also very future-oriented. It's very much, like I said, you're here, you wanna get there but it's, it's, we, we will look at the past as something to inform us, right? We need to know where we are today, and there might be some very solid reasons that we are where we are. Uh, there might be some really strong reasons or stories or you know, embodied experiences that are affecting us, okay? Now, I'll get into more detail in another video about types of coaching, but my particular type of coaching is what's called ontological coaching, and that is our way of being. And I'm looking at it very holistically. It's very much looking at all aspects of our being, our thoughts, our emotions, and our body. And so we're gonna be able to look at these different ways in which we might be feeling stuck or feeling like we can't you know, move forward. And we might wanna look at the past a little bit to say, okay, where did you first have that memory? You know, what, what is your first experience of, of feeling that kind of energy? Or where did you learn that story? Or whose story is it? Or that kind of thing. And because it brings awareness, it increases that awareness. But it's not for the sake of dredging up old stories or staying in the past. It's very much about, okay, now we know what has brought you here and we can begin to unravel some of that and reassess some of that and create new stories and new patterns and new embodiments, right? And, and process those emotions that maybe have been ignored. And then we can begin to do all of that for the sake of the future, right? How do you want to show up as a parent, uh, as a mother, as a, as a wife, as a partner, as a manager or an executive or a business owner, how do you wanna show up as a person? That's the future-oriented nature of it and everything we do centers around that, right? So it's kind of like a goal, uh, but not necessarily just about the concept of, okay, we're gonna get you from point A to point B with this five-step process. That is not so much what coaching is. It can do that. And I'll talk again about types of coaching. There's types like transformational versus transactional. Um, and we'll talk about that concept, but really what coaching is all about is bringing the questions to allow you to expand within your being. Another aspect of coaching is that it can really help create a shared understanding. So somebody who coaches couples, for example, or coaches in teams of organizations, leadership, etc., that can create this shared understanding of what's going on, what other people are seeing and how they're seeing it. That's also about that perspective concept, right? What the performance is that's happening, what the potential is that's being realized or not being realized. We start to have a shared understanding of the various aspects of what's going on. And in that shared understanding, we can move forward. Now, if it's individual coaching, 
Shared understanding can literally be about having a shared understanding with deeper parts of yourself, okay? Um, that's a big part of what I do is we start to see that, oh, this part of myself is afraid because of X, Y, Z that happened in my past, or this part of myself has these dreams and aspirations, and maybe there's a gap, right, between those parts. So we need to get that shared understanding of what's going on so that we can begin to move forward in ways that help us to expand, help us to grow, help us to realize those dreams that we have and really feel that potential. Now, I talk a lot about fulfillment. I do think coaching is a path toward fulfillment. And then honestly, I also question the idea of fulfillment because what is fulfillment? It makes it sound like it's an end game. And for me, coaching is very much about a process. We are here, human beings on the planet, to evolve. We're here to grow, to expand, not, not from the standpoint of bigger, better, faster, more, you know, et cetera, from a competitive or, or um, excess type of, of concept of constant achievement, never ending growth, right? Never ending growth is is a definition of cancer, right? We don't want that, but there's this aspect of evolution, an evolutionary process, and that's what I mean by that expansion, that expansion of perspective, that opening up, the ability to have that shared understanding, that ability to realize greater potential, to step into that. So those are some aspects of what coaching is and what it's about. Now, how do you know if you need coaching? Well, first of all, and again, we'll get into this in another video about different types of coaching and domains of coaching, you can look at the different areas of your life that you might be having a challenge with. But ultimately, coaching is sincerely beneficial for anyone and I especially think it's particularly amazing for people who are in transition. So maybe you're young, like graduating high school and transitioning on to an adult life, okay? Fantastic opportunity for a coach to help you see from different perspectives, right? See what's possible out there, help you see different possibilities. Maybe you're you're getting married and you have never lived with someone before and you're gonna be you know, living together and sh creating this shared life and you're moving and all of these kinds of transitions are happening in your life and you wanna be able to process that with someone, help see new perspectives, help understand your partner a little bit better. You can do that even without having couples counseling, for example. There's so much that we can do on our own to gain perspective and understanding without necessarily having to involve others. In fact, when we work on ourselves, with ourselves, everything around us changes by default. Everything around us begins to shift. So anytime you're struggling with a transition or some kind of triggers or overwhelm, that kind of thing, coaching is such an amazing tool. It's incredible for things like divorce and what's next, right? I coach a lot of women dealing with, okay, what, what's next after empty nesting? My children are graduating from high school, they're moving on and I've known myself as a mother or, or they're in transition because they're like, I, I wanna create a business, I wanna express my creativity, I wanna do something meaningful and purposeful. I'm not even sure what it is yet. I'm just asking all of these questions, right? These are all transitions. We all go through them. None of us will avoid having these life transitions of moving, relationship changes, career changes, business changes, etc. right? There's so many ways in which we can benefit from coaching, especially in the realm of transitions in our lives. Coaching helps us to manage our experiences, to organize them, to sort things out, sort our thoughts out, sort our emotions out, come to those deeper understandings. It helps us to explore, it helps us to improve and refine and define, and it helps us to open up to possibilities. It's very much about possibilities and, and that concept of potential. It's also very much about the concept of optimizing or maximizing that concept of realizing potential, right? Opening things up so that we can experience the fullness of it. So if you're asking yourself if you need coaching and what is life coaching, I hope that this has really been helpful. This is, this is something that I think many people were hearing a lot about coaching. Many more people are no longer seeing it as a luxury, they're seeing it as a necessity, right? We are living in a world of so much fast and furious change and transition, 
and we don't have our tribal communities around us so much anymore, that's a challenge, and yet we're longing for it. There's an aspect of important individuation that we need to go through to know ourselves, but there's this deep longing to share ourselves in community and be able to be shared with. And coaching begins to help us reconnect that when we don't necessarily have those places uh, readily available to us. It creates a very safe and nurturing space of being received, feeling like we can sink in and just be ourselves and not hold anything back. Any, I'll do another video also on what makes a great coach, what, what makes good coaching and how to look for that. Um, but, but ultimately this idea of what is coaching, do I need coaching? I would say to you, if you are looking for something that is gonna help guide you through transition from your own inner wisdom, help you to see the answers within yourself, walk beside you along the journey, be someone that you can touch base with at any time to say, oh my gosh, this is what happened this week. Now, a lot of coaching happens weekly or every other week, sometimes it's monthly. I would say, you know, most people tend to start with every other week. It's a good rhythm. It's an opportunity for you to maybe implement some of the practices. Coaching is very much about realizing things and then saying, okay, if it's future oriented, we want to practice some things that are gonna shift our experience and our perspective to embody it more, to bring it more into us. And there's so many different aspects of how we do that. But that's ultimately what coaching is about, helping you to shift your performance, your perspective, open up your potential, and really become the best of who you're here to be while also honoring that you're perfect. You're not broken. There's nothing wrong with you. There's simply kind of veils, like a layers of an onion that are just covering up some of what we have to offer. And coaching is something that is a powerful, powerful tool to help you uncover that and open up to the best of who you're here to be. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the future videos I'm gonna be doing on this series of coaching and explaining what coaching is. And check out the other videos I have, other playlists on topics related to showing up as your most empowered self, all about realizing your potential. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.